Now, this one here, he wants to be, you see, he wants to get his wrist, this fold of his wrist, as close to the backstop of the blade as possible. So he's now guided controlling the back of the blade. Mm -hmm. You're turning it to face me. Okay? Now, what you would do here is drive the blade flat like a key on Be careful because I can't let go like it so much. Okay? You can see all my thumbs trapped right here. I can get a broken thumb. So as he goes, he's just going to take the pressure right onto that thumb, uh, onto that arm. Okay. Then while he's holding that pressure, the same hand can grab back and he can go to, go to work with it. Very nice. Okay? So here, in, close. So I, I'm not going up here. Okay? okay? I'm really closing that Fook style again. Yes. Bring it right down. Ah, okay? At the same time, if I hear a drop, it's very common, yeah. I go in, I can switch. Either here, okay, in or here. Just depends where it is. If he's trying to go for that knife here, he hears that go, I'm gonna probably cut him off, you know? I can use this. So if he if I'm in here nailing it, he tries to go out around this way, I can still keep this elbow up, and then we have the next move when I get here, where I place this on the collarbone and I press the chin up and back. Okay? Call pass. Okay, so if he's grappling here, I got somebody pointing to clinch. Okay? So I'm in a, I'm in a clinch, he's got this, okay? He's go he goes for a, a different kind of clinch since I style use, which is good because I'm here with the Fuchs now on this. So if he's trying my elbow tucked in, if he now tries to shoot under with that, okay, with these elbows, it's gonna be really tight for him. Okay? So the wrestler's one here, we got this. Same thing if I get here, I come across here. Yeah, that's what I And I go here and I press my chip, my wrist goes up and back. Okay? And you see what happens. There's the pass. <laughs> Come to the candy. <laughs> the pass candy. Ryan all right through. Yes. Okay? So dirty fighting, dirty fighting. So if he's got here, look at this, this goes across, he reaches or reach this one across. So he's here, okay? And what you do is push the wrist. Up like this and work for it. Now, see here I can lift that elbow. Yeah. So what he wants to do is drop this elbow under and then straighten ah. it. So if I have a guy that grabs hold of me, boom, I just back him up right there. Ah. And it really works good on the ground if you're trying to get somebody off of you. Yeah. So I'm stabbing out to the side. Question I have for you. Sure. Wait, are you do you want to extend your arm as much as possible here, or do you want to kind of keep it tight so you're using that defensive shoulder so close elbow? Good question. So, depends on the length of the blade. Okay. All right. So, if I have a machete, which is a common third look, you want to get that body away from me. Amen. Okay. Yes, but immediately, you want to get your elbow into the center line. Okay. If he puts the elbow in the center line, that will determine whichever elbow ends up in the center line determines which one it is. So you're still you're still doing the fuchs out. Yes. So he grabs, boom, he fuchs out. Look at that, effortless. Really quick, really fast. See that? Boom, in. Good. So as soon as you think of it, I'm going to come in. Okay? That fuchs is there. Yes. You're protecting. Even if he cuts back this way with pressure, I'm protecting. Yeah. Okay? So he hasn't got any strength. I got control of the hand. Yeah. I got control of the blade. I'm on the blade. I take it out there. Thumb to the eye. So again, he should be thumb into the eye. I, I, you know, and get the set. Good. Very nice, very nice. Little bit of space right here, yeah. okay? So this if this was a chrome that could end up hooking on you, ah. okay? So you want this. Tired. Yeah, and if you do get cut, this is where you'd rather be cut, on rather than down on the tendons on either side, the ligaments on either side, okay? okay? Good call. So first one, boom, out the side, down. down. That's it, grab. Grab. That's it, okay? okay? So that's okay. in, boom, out, grab. Good, very nice. Coming around, turn around. In. Good, very nice. First one, that's the first. So this is where he used it as a cross side. He brought it out. Good. As it's coming in, try not to get too much lift and time to try to bring your arm around, okay? When you get there, the Fuchsau goes. If it dips inside of his arm, or he's got a really strong grip that I don't get, I just use my body. Yeah. And I drive in, and I use those elbows, to get it out. Okay? Yes, sir. Right? So it's here, boom. That's it. That's Very nice. Right. Okay? Now, every time, if you can, think of rolling it right in. Okay. And if he rolls a nice fuchs out, that blade will turn in okay. against me. So if I go slow motion and keep that fuchs out, elbow under. 
There we go. So see, if he had his elbow out, he gives me that opportunity to come and do this. All right? Little things, guys. There it is. Oh, sorry, sorry. Very little effort. Let's do it that side. Sorry, sorry. No, that's what I'm saying. That's exactly it. Nice and tight. My hand is turned. He's got a lot of control right here. I would dip that elbow under a little more, see how the angle is. Yeah. Okay? If he needed to, he could turn his body. So right from here, just turn your body and put your chest against it and draw. Okay. All so right? Don't have to be okay. You don't have to disarm. Yeah. Dip, this is a situational thing that if it's there and you know how to do it and the opportunity's there, try to do it. If it, do, if it doesn't succeed, okay, and I'm here and, and he's holding tight for her, yeah. put your weight on it, drive in. Okay? Use it. The angles that you have to cut back onto him. Okay? Yeah. So I'm using those to cut in on them. Okay? If this now goes from here, boom, and it's dropped, okay, now he's in. Okay? So he's got this, bring it to the hip, get the head in, he's driving, good. As soon as he feels the anchor, spin back. Okay, so once you feel the anchor, keep your position here and step back or step forward. So, sir, pivot back. Okay. Okay. So he's got the head. Pivot back. There, he puts me on my heels. Okay? And now he can either get to the knife, up his weapon, okay? Or get the hell away. You know? And also, you may, these are really quick moves. All right? If I have, if we're in here and I'm in, okay? And I don't get that out, I bring it in here, I'm driving. There may be multiple people right here. So I'm using this to drive into this person. All right, here, go. Then I can get the blade, boom, boom, put them in, do what I need to do. This is about the equivalent of an arm bar. Yeah, it's really this Okay? Close. It's pretty much the same thing. So we don't really call arm bars the go-to finishing techniques. They're transitional. Okay? It gives you that moment to control their upper body and to control their balance. That's all we're doing here is taking the balance. Okay? Later on, we can add sweeps and all that stuff. We're not worried about that right now. So. What you don't see as well is Greg's actually putting pressure with his chest here yeah. as well. And exactly. I'm expanding my chest and, and tucking that in. If I stand just, up to look here, just to come really to me to actually take that pressure yeah. away and go down. But this hand's also still a live hand. Yeah. So when he goes to grab in, okay, I can get in, I can get into all kinds of stuff. <laughs> Oh, sorry. It's okay. It's all good. You have a good partner, otherwise you can get hurt easily doing this. Now, here with this. I don't need to have a hand. I can go here and take the blade out here. So let's continue with a couple of these. Alright, so first one we came in here. It went out this side, right here. Okay? This time it's coming out and he's pushing it sort of go around here. Okay, so I'm going to twist these other blades in front. Okay? Fook south, over, turn, boom. Now he's caught, I can go in. I can break this thumb right away. Okay, yeah. it's really easy to break the thumb. All right, so this time I'm guiding you. I'm going to turn around. So it's here. That's the first ready one. This time it's coming here and I go out this way. Ah, so face the force, fook south. There it is. There it is, okay. See that position? Look what it did to my arm. Yeah. Okay, out here, you're pushing. It's, but I can go, I was just right? say. that fuchs out, tucking that elbow in, boom, yeah. immediately covering your solar plexus. I can't even get any kind of power if I was to drive through there. It turned the pressure off my wrist as well. Here, I'm weak and it's a lot of wrist pressure for me, which I have a bad wrist. So here, I'm, it's all strength and elbow. I really feel it's much more dominant position. So well. he's in a clearing position. Yeah. You could clear the blade, okay? okay? But in this arm, when I mean, he's here, grab a hole. Yeah. So he's got this. It's out over here. Ah. Now, when he drops that fuchs out, he's got to do now a position to bring that around to that wrist. Oh. Ah, okay, so, we're in, no. so it's in, boom, it's out here. here. Drop the elbow in. Now no. drive up with your elbow into my form. Ah, okay. You see that? Yes. It took me a second. I didn't. Okay. So it's in, boom, it goes there. Fuchs mm -hmm. out. It's pretty much gone right there. Yeah. If he gets a good fuchs out, if it's coming in, okay, it's out here, and we get that good fuchs out. By the time I bring that fuchs out back to his wrist, that blade is quickly gone. The wrist control. So elbow in, real fuchs out. Yeah. Grappler's fuchs out. That's big. All right? Yes, sir. So it's in. It ends up out here. All right? Still holding. The elbow comes in to the front of my solar plexus. There's the blade for me right there. Good. Effortless. 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 
Damn. Foot sound. That's it. It's right there. It's right there. Okay. But that, if you watch that, watch this. Just tighten my elbow. So it's here. Boom. Mm -hmm. Okay? That elbow, the more it cuts into the center line, yes. the more I, I just... The hands move. That same principle that we're here where he's holding my arms, and I say, you drop the elbow behind, yeah. and you can't hold on to it. It's the same principles of leverage. Okay? All right. So... We got here. Boom! I went this way. Good. He's got it. Now comes in. I go this way. He goes here. Good. He grabs a blade. Good. He doesn't grab the blade. <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding. No, it's good. <laughs> okay. Third one is here. Okay, and he's grabbing an arm or knocking an arm off, and I'm like this. Okay. So this way, I'm just gonna bring this here. Fuchs out Ooh. under. Okay, That's good cross stuff. over and I'm into his eye. That's good stuff. Okay? So when I'm coming in, this will be a little tricky. So, so here, I pull this one away. Uh -huh. You just got this. Fuchs out, good. Right, good. See what I'm saying? Yes. One thing now uh -huh. is when he got his fuchs out, okay, go ahead. Uh -huh. See how you bring it across you? Yeah. Okay? Once you're entering the center line, start to come forward with the elbow. Not through. Like you're going to elbow him in the chin. Ah, yeah. you cannot hold it. Yeah. So not across. As okay. soon as you cross that center line, you've got the potential of me throwing my elbow around. <coughs> Excuse me. So I have a split second with a disarm. Boom. Okay. I pulled that arm away. This is free. Good. Same thing. So he can basically catch it. Say he's out here. He can do that single arm. Okay. Now once he gets there, pretty close, pretty yeah. close. And this is good. So it's coming in. Yes, okay. We went out. As I get under here, I'm going to bring it up into the forearm. There I go. You're actually driving it up and the hand up. Okay. Yeah. Awesome. All right. Here, pop. Oh. Keep it. Yeah. Oh, that did through. Sorry. And, and the scary thing is I almost got caught in the wrist lock inside yeah, of the elbow. Right in the okay? Sorry. I said sorry. Other ones. He comes here. Okay? Uh -huh. So instead of catching here and being single hand, oh, it's okay. here. Same thing. Uh -huh. Over, down, catch, through. Awesome. All right, nice. so cross that and grab. I knock this hand away somehow. Boom, right to the forearm. There it ah, is. Okay. Always to the forearm and the saber grip. Got saber grip, okay. reverse grip like this, okay? As we're coming, always through the fingers, the back or the front hand, okay? So big rule, these will work. This way or this way out of the hand, okay? If it's in the saber grip, Okay, right. it works this way or this way, back to the flat. You must try to make the contact. If for whatever reason the grip is getting in here, a couple things that will reinforce you. Bring this in as you go, put your body against. Now you've got a backstop and you have something to pull against. It makes you more efficient. And then from here, if nothing's happening, get that, uh, that, that head down. Drive your head in, step between their feet, and just keep driving. Yeah. They're gonna to want to let go. I promise you. Okay? Amen. All right. So we've got one here. Boom. You right. got this. Single hand. Good. You can take it away. Good. So you got to play. There we go. Whatever he happens to be in, he comes back in. With. Okay. So it's here. Boom. I've got my shoulder thing here. Okay. I'm moving him on those last steps. I pivot him. Here it is through the blade. Wow. Okay. I come back in. Yeah, there it is. Boom. If he comes in there, okay, we can roll the ball on south, bring it back in, move him a couple times, spin him, bring it out, drive it through. So this is kind of what you're doing, okay? Let's review this one more time. So if he's coming down in, in a reverse, we did this in the you know, workout, I can either roll with it, yep. control, bring it into my ribs, take it away. I've got control from here, all right? Other version, we worked on, okay? So same thing, on this side, bring it across, all right? And then once I've got it here. Now, I can, if I can get in to the base of the hand, I can just roll it out, all right? So I can just break it out that way. Or, if it's back of the blade, take it from that way. Still, it's gonna be safer to go this way. So you're gonna have a lot more strength, all right? So, I'm in, boom, he's out here, good. He goes in, okay? This is here, boom. All right, I'm coming in this way. Pull it down, very nice. That's it, good, driving me forward a couple steps. Good, switch sides, driving me, good. Okay, drive me, put that head in there. 
Slide on your back. Okay. Very nice. Get a couple drives. Just so you're getting used to the 89 drive again. Okay. Now, if you can, see how he has here? He already has this. He's yeah. not even noticing that he can automatically disarm this right there. Okay. So on this one, now we're in a reverse grip. So it's a little more difficult, but say you're holding it. Yep. And so if I've got him out here, mm -hmm. okay, I'm in. I can still get those disarms right there. If he's in reverse grip, which is, as I'm here, I can still go through that hand. Okay? So start tying these little bits together. Yeah. Play with this today, and we'll be back with something else. We'll be back, what, Thursday? Yeah. In a couple days, we'll be back in. Actually, we'll have a series of videos coming out for you right now. All right, thanks, guys. Appreciate you guys. Thank you so much. Thank you.